everybody welcome back to another video today i'm going to be trying out a party platter from hickory farms in the u.s sent to us by barb thank you so much barb uh, she also sent us a couple of beers so satoshi is still a little bit under the weather he's a lot better but he doesn't feel like he can drink beer yet or be on camera and i wanted to try this out before i go on my two-week um exploration of Kyushu and some other cities so um, without further ado let's check out the box here we go this is the mad elf ale love that design love it so so much cheers everybody come bye smells fruity <sighs> what wow Wow, it's actually a little bit thick, thick and sweet. What is that? Brewed with honey and cherries. So I guess, uh, yeah, the cherries, definitely I taste the cherries and the honey. It's kind of caramelly to me. Very interesting and quite tasty. This is the name of the company. I don't know how you pronounce that. But um, this looks like it's a holiday type of beer. You know what? I'm going to put this in a glass. I want to see what it looks like. <sighs> Look at that. You guys see the color? Look at that. Look, when I pour it, look how thick it is. You, you guys see? It's kind of thick. I like that. I really do. It's almost like um, different from... It's almost like it's a non-beer. It, it's almost in a different category, I think. Yeah, because it's sweet and it's thick and it's rich. I like it a lot. Ah, look at that. Look at that. Tasty platter. Tips for building a tasty platter. And th this is the contents. Wow. Wow. That's, that's um, amazing actually. Okay, so there is a block of uh, farmhouse cheddar cheese. And then we have the smoked cheddar blend. And this is the Hickory Farms Perfectly Crisp Golden Toasted Crackers. Here we have a beer summer sausage. On this side, oh, oh this is the same beer summer sausage, I think. So there's two of them. Wow, thank you. And then you got the sweet hot mustard. And then there's another mustard here. This is the Belgian Ale Mustard. Interesting. <laughs> okay, so let's try the um, cheese, the cheddar cheese, since this one looks like the most, I guess, the basic thing. Mm. Itadakimasu. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah, cheddar cheese. Mmm, that's nice. It's pretty mild, it's not that sharp. Mmm. Mm. Very easy to eat. I think anyone who likes cheese can eat this. You would like this like immediately. Mm. Delicious. Mm. I wonder if it goes with the beer. It kind of does. <laughs> okay, now for the summer sausage. I would like to try the summer sausage on its own without any of the mustard. Look at that. I cut it like this. Mmm. Oh. Yum. Mmm. You know what? There's a little sourness to it, to it. You know, there's a little bit of sourness to it. I don't know where that comes. Is it vinegar? Or is it lemon? It's a little bit sour, which I actually find very pleasant. Mmm. 
and the spices they use, it's not very strong. I like that. That's good. That must go with the beer. Hmm. I don't know if it goes that well with the beer. The cheese went well with the beer, I think. But this one, I think it would match like a normal beer, maybe a pale ale or an IPA or something. Hmm. Okay, so this time, um, because on the tips, on this little um, piece of, uh, on the notes here, it says the sweet hot mustard is delicious with the summer sausage and cheeses. Okay, so the sweet hot mustard. So I'm gonna try a sweet hot mustard with the, the cheddar. I wonder, I wonder how that's going to be with the, I wonder what that's gonna be together. You know, the mustard and the cheddar cheese. Hmm. Well, that is kind of nice. Hmm. Hmm. The mustard is really nice. Let me just try the mustard. That's a very interesting mustard, I gotta say. Yeah, it's sweet. It has a tiny little bit of bitterness that mustard has, but not much. Hmm. It's very interesting. Okay, I want to try it with the sausage because it does say the sausage goes well with the sweet hot mustard. Hmm. Oh yeah, that goes really well together. However, I'm curious to try it with a Belgian L mustard. So I'll try it with the other mustard. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Hmm. Mm. For me, I think I prefer the sausage on its own. I think it's you know what? It's good with the Belgian L mustard. Yeah, because I can still taste the the sourness and the spices of the sausage. But the sweet hot mustard, I don't know. That one's okay for me. Let's try another sip of beer. Mm. I cannot get over this beer. It just, it's like I'm drinking something else. It's good, it's good though. That's the cracker that came in the box. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice. It has a subtle sweetness to it. And just a tinge of salt. Mmm, perfect. Mmm, yummy. I could just eat the crackers on their own. So this one is a cheddar blend. Mmm. 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 It's a little smoky. Mmm. That's very nice. Smoky cheese. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I actually like this one a lot. Like this one's quite unique, I think, mm, for cheddar cheese. Maybe it's normal in the US, but I never had smoked cheddar before. Mm. This one might pair well with the beer. Hmm. No. I feel like um with these. Like I think like a regular beer that's not flavored with other flavors will go uh, better together. But that's just my opinion. Hmm. Let's uh, cleanse my palate with the cracker. Hmm. It's still just passing and drinking beer. So the beer is starting to get to my brains. Why does everything look bright now? Well, the sun is up. Mm. Mm. This is making me feel very <laughs> lazy. <laughs> I was supposed to work today. Editing day. Barb, it's your fault. 
So I don't know if you're supposed to eat the crackers on their own or with the sausage and the cheese, but I, I do notice that a lot of people put their cheeses on the cracker. So I'm gonna do that. So I have a um, slice of cheese, <laughs> slice. I have a piece of cracker. I'm gonna put some mustard on it. Okay, a little bit of mustard. Actually, we'll just blend both mustards together. We'll put the smoky cheese on because I really like that. And we'll try it this way. I don't think you're supposed to put the sausage on it. That would be like a sandwich, right? Mmm, that is delicious. Mmm, I think the mustards go really well with this uh, cheddar cheese. Mmm, especially the smoky cheese. Mmm. Put more mustard on it. Mmm. I can just nibble on these all day long. Mmm. Mm. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. I like it. So I don't know exactly when this video will be released on this channel, but um, this is before I go on my two-week trip to uh, Kyushu. I'm also stopping by Kyoto for a couple of days. I want to stop by and say hello to Tias, the tea master that we met uh, on the last trip to Kyoto. I want to buy um, some good teas for myself. And I trust his taste because last time we went, he just opened my eyes to the world of tea. And ever since then, tea hasn't been the same for me. After that, I'm going straight to Nagasaki on the Shinkansen. That's a pretty long journey. Um, Nagasaki is a place I went to once a long time, time ago with Satoshi and I loved it and I've always wanted to go back. And um, I'm going to be spending four days there. Then I'll go to this uh, Dutch theme park called House Temples for two nights. So looking forward to that as well. And I splurged on this amazing hotel inside the theme park and I'm looking forward to that. I really hope they have Dutch food. And then um, after that, I'm going to Hakata for a couple of nights. That, that's just to, you know, stop over to break up the long uh, Shinkansen journey home. And then I will be spending four days in Hiroshima. I'm definitely going to go to Miyajima. Um, that's another place I've only been to once and I've always wanted to go back because I, I feel like there's a lot more to explore on that beautiful island. Anyway, I really hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I'm trying my best to make more videos outside. As you can see, I'm staying safe. I don't go into crowded restaurants. I like to do takeout these days. I like to walk in parks. I like to walk by the river. <laughs> I don't really like to walk in crowded areas, so you won't really see me filming inside the city center of big cities like Tokyo, for example. But um, <clears throat> I think um, places like Nagasaki and Hiroshima are going to be less crowded because, you know, they are smaller cities with uh, less population. So it should be fine. And I so look forward to showing you guys uh, those parts of Japan. I may have been releasing those videos before this one, um, but um, who knows? <laughs> I know a lot of my friends around the world are still in lockdown in some places and you guys are getting depressed and stressed out and um, I totally um, feel for you. I really, really do and um, you know, I, I, I so wish things improve where you are and um, yeah, please, you know, um, try not to get too depressed. We will get through this together. We will get through this together. For those of you that had to cancel your plans for Japan last year and this year, I truly hope traveling um, opens up again. Um, I can't wait for that to happen. Really, really. Um, it really... Mm, it bums me out knowing that you guys cannot come here. It really does. Yeah. So with that said, minasan. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everybody. And once again, thank you Barb for sending these treats to us. Thanks. Bye.